Here I am picking out the Spanish nettles. They're just all over me. Well, good times. <laughs> Whee! Howdy, YouTube. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Little silly video I had there. Spanish nettles are Biden's my panadas grow in my garden last year they got out of hand um all the weeds did um <laughs> became quite a mess when i went to get them all out <laughs> they still are i know they're gonna grow all over again the leaves can be similar to marigolds for the untrained eye but it is edible i have eaten it i'm not dead yet <laughs> like i said I always confirm everything with at least from three sources. Don't go on what I say or any one person anywhere says. I will be doing more stuff on wild edibles and uses for plants. I remember probably eating my first dandelions anyway back in 2003 or 4 somewhere around there. <laughs> That's kind of the gateway wild plant dandelions. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll be doing some videos on that. I, a lot of what I've allowed to grow in the backyard has to do with wild plants. I, I've i got wild ginger, uh, I've got elderberries, there's some yarrow. It's kind of came in from the neighbor's yard, but I, I love it, you know. Um, goldenrod, we got plantain everywhere. So the uses of plantain and comfrey and all that are well known for me it's the medicinal parts as well as eating it I eat it, I eat it all the time anyway <laughs> um, oh goodness I don't know there's just lots of them I maybe I'll hit them in videos in the future just wanted to show that little silliness because my clothes were covered over and over again oh so many times I'd be working in a yard, I'd be coming in, and I'd like, I thought I made it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Things were everywhere. Anyway, so anyone that's ever had to deal with those Spanish needles before, you know what I'm probably talking about. Uh, or even just walking through a, a field of wild plants, it's, you're going to come out with those things on you. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Look forward to me bringing some info on wild plants, because... That's where I started. That's where I started. And this whole homesteading thing was with wild plants. I wanted to figure out what I could start eating if I needed to or, or that I needed to because money was low or that I just wanted to find plants. I just wanted to find little things that were healthy. I wanted to be able to medicate myself without doctor junk, which that's a long story. Eventually it led to wanting to grow stuff. And then I started wanting to grow stuff, and then I wanted a greenhouse, and then I wanted a, a little garden bed, and, and then it grew into, and then it grew into a big digging a big hole for a little pond, and wanting aquaponics, and and then next thing you know, I was building a chicken coop, but got chickens, and and then ducks, and fruit trees, and you know this the what is it, six seven layer? I hope I'm saying that right, of of vegetation, your tall trees, your smaller trees, your, your bushes, and then uh, you get your vines, and then your tall plants, and your smaller plants, and your ground cover. So hopefully I've done that right in the backyard. I'm expecting this year to see some crazy stuff going to my yard. I've been working on it a few years now to set it all up, so uh, we'll see. I'll get the videos on here for it. I'm babbling on and on. Uh, all over the silly Spanish nettles caught in my clothes. Ah, run! <laughs> you know, uh, anyway, see you on the videos to come. Later, YouTube.